Hey, what's up everyone? It's Franchise923, and in the next couple of videos, we're going to be venturing into the mysterious world of ArcGIS Pro add-ins. Uh, so if you're like me, you don't necessarily have any experience with uh, developing custom Pro add-ins. Uh, we're going to be using the ArcGIS Pro SDK for .NET, which I have never used up until recently. Um, so .NET is sort of a Microsoft framework that allows you to work with uh, the C-sharp programming language. And that is how we build uh, Pro add-ins in ArcGIS. So we leverage this Pro SDK that uses .NET and C-sharp, and then we program in C-sharp to be able to uh, add additional functionality to Pro. Um, so what, what we're gonna basically be doing is creating a new button up here, a new tab. Um, so this is something that's not possible with say like a Python toolbox. You can't you know, change the look and feel of Pro like this, but with the Pro SDK, you, you can actually change the look and feel of Pro. Um, so what we're gonna be doing just in the next couple of videos is creating this new tab here and then these two buttons. And the first button just doesn't do, oops, doesn't do anything right now. And the second one, this actually calls a Python toolbox. And I think this is a good place to start because uh, assuming a lot of you probably have experience with Python toolboxes, and this is basically a way that you can leverage your Python toolbox in uh, the Pro SDK in a Pro add-in. So I think that's a good place to start, and I'm just gonna demonstrate what this does. So, you know, all it does is just prints my name out a hundred times, but the point is you can just call any Python toolbox that you have and uh, you can call it from a pro add-in. Um, whoops, I didn't even show you what, one second here. Let's run that again. So there you can see we have a hundred messages here. Um, yeah, so let me just show you what's going on here. So we're running, this is actually running in development mode and this is um, Visual Studio. And uh, so you can, as you can see, it's running right now. And what this, generates eventually when you compile it is basically a pro add-in file and that's what this looks like and this is a file that you can distribute to people they can double click it as long as they have pro installed and it will install this little add-in up here um all right so if that seems interesting um keep watching uh i'm actually going to pause the video here and completely uninstall you know all the visual studio components that i have and I'm going to walk you through installing everything step by step just so you get an understanding of how it works and just want to make sure we don't get overwhelmed because this Visual Studio looks a little intimidating. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to, you know, kind of walk you through it because it, it, it's not that bad, but um, definitely is a little bit complicated at first. Uh, all right. So if that sounds interesting, just keep on watching. In the next video, we're going to install Visual Studio, which is this. And I just want to make a clarification. Visual Studio is different than Visual Studio Code. And we'll talk about that in the next video. But um, yeah, if, if that's something you're interested in, just keep watching and we will get started. 